Welcome back. <clears throat> I've gotten everything taken apart. 90% cleaned up, and there's just a few things I've noticed that need to be resolved. Uh, one of them is this here. This is not a gun screw at all. In fact, it doesn't even remotely resemble the screw that is supposed to be in place right here that then in turn connects to here into this thing to hold it down. Even though the thread pattern is right and it kind of fits, it is absolutely um, not designed for this gun. It doesn't even come close. In fact, this should be a f flat bottom with a rounded top. Most of them come in a hex head, some have a slotted screwdriver, uh, depending upon the year that Marlin made the screw, apparently. So that needs to be replaced. Everything else, including the I don't know why it exists, stock reinforcement screw that goes here into the stock, but holds nothing into this gun. Don't understand why it's a reinforcement screw. To me, it would have been better just to leave the wood whole. I don't know. Maybe it's me. <clears throat> Even though I may, may still get a new tube magazine, I had to take my largest steel punch, put it in here, take my hammer, and tap it gently to kind of get it back into a more semicircle. And then I had to attack it with a 400 grit sandpaper mostly on the inside and the outside to get rid of burring and then the top just to kind of get it kind of smooth but it still looks like someone chewed on it or hit it with a hammer. Uh, the goal is not to continue damaging and scratching this brass tube which although is easy to replace as I mentioned in earlier there's at least four different lengths to the brass tube or to the uh, outer tube here. And of course, the length of this tube has to be matched to the brass tube that goes inside, otherwise it causes issue in jammings. So, uh, also, in case you decide to ever get this gun, there is a pin hole up in here. I don't know if that can be seen, uh, but there is a hole there, and there is a pin that goes in. Uh, that pin holds the outer end in this spot and if you're trying to hammer this thing out you'll create another spot as it moves up before you realize oh there's a pin and then of course there's another pin down here in the receiver that holds the bottom end of this into place uh, so obviously try not to get this dented up because then that means bullets don't load properly Let's see, what other little fun stuff? Um, obviously when I got it, the rear sight and that little plastic push thing that creates the elevation is gone. There is a company, uh, and it costs about like 60 bucks. You can get a fiber optic sight, so the back end comes to here and it's fully adjustable with a screw. And then of course you get a... Um, I think it's green fiber here and like a red or orange color fiber up here up here at the front of the barrel and they screw right into place um, obviously when you put the thing in you do have to adjust for the left and right or the windage and that way when you go to mess with it you're just dealing with elevation and then when you get it set right you just slide it forward slide it back and that gets you your further distances Let's see. Other little fun things that I could think of. <coughs> with this one here, because this is a rather beat up stock with a whole bunch of gouges and so on, <coughs> one of the things that we, me and my wife saw at um, Hobby Lobby, pretty certain to get it elsewhere, it's a little projector that you can set it over top of a photo 
and it projects it onto an object and then you can trace it. So my goal is to attach my stock into my vise after I pivot it this way. Put the projector over here closer to the light in that direction and project the image onto the stock so I can trace it out and then using a wood burning kit burn the image in and then do the same thing on the other side. Hopefully that turns out to be a good thing. If not, I'm going to have to drop about 60 bucks to get a new stock and put it on it. In which case it may go to $80 and get the fully synthetic stock so it has like a little pistol grip on this thing. So if I mess up too bad, I have an out and still have a good gun. And hopefully it comes out pretty good that, you know, it'll work. Uh, let's see. Other than that, I mentioned I got some stuff for some of my other guns, so I'm going to have to do some uh, how-tos and breakthroughs, and hopefully I can do a little bit more record while I work, uh, unlike this one here, because I had no clue what I was doing, and I had to keep researching and researching. So don't be afraid to use YouTube if you want to fix your guns at home. Uh, they can help out, but they, they're not going to be the be-all end all because trust me There's a lot of things that was missing in those videos that I just didn't face in dealing with this one here So just think and take your time and don't be afraid not to record Well, hello people in the midst of breaking down the gun all the way down to its individual parts There seems to be a bullet lodged in here there's no casing it's just the bullet so now I need to put a push rod which is uh, one of these things usually use it for like paper patches to push through but I have it attached to the end of my uh, cleaning rod and I'm gonna have to gently hammer it out until the bullet falls out Looks like it was a copper plated, uh, just round nose, not even a pointer or anything. So I don't know if this is from a standard 22 long or maybe it was a 22 short or something. It was about four inches down the barrel. So my guess there was probably a misfire and then the person got rid of the gun shortly after. Fun. I thought the bullet fell off the end of this push rod, but apparently there was two bullets in there, and that's why it looked funny. Funny. Apparently, a second bullet went in behind the other. So, hopefully, someone didn't. Well, it doesn't seem signs of showing like a an explosion or like a double feed. So the only thing I could think of is someone realized they got something jammed, and they had two bullets in the head. So I don't know what happened exactly, but here I have yet another hollow point copper plated bullet. Yep. Copper plated uh, hollow point. So there was two 
one right behind the other in the barrel.